Hey guys, Dillogic here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a digital and analog clock in KWidget. This same process can be applied in KLWP as well, but I just wanted to get some breath into my videos, so I decided to do in KWidget this time. So this is a preview of what the clock will look approximately like. You guys can tweak the font and the colors and stuff. And um, let's get started. First we're going to tap and hold on the home screen and add a widget right over there. A 2x2 two two is fine for now. And then we will select our widget. Now we're brought to the custom widget maker app. So we'll add a new widget and we'll begin with our digital clock first. So let's add a progress bar and then as you can see the progress bar is over here so we'll select that oh and we'll select on the progress and let's make it minutes for now now we'll go to style and make the style circular and size smaller and also the height a bit smaller as well we'll make it our height around 5 now we'll go back and add a text showing the digital time. So we'll click on this and we'll make it a bit bigger so we can see it. And I personally like clicking on the text and removing the first H from here. Uh, the first H I feel uh, it has like a preceding zero which uh, is unnecessary. So that looks good to me and we'll click save. Now we'll go to our home screen and there you have it, our first K widget. So let's resize it and there you go. That is a digital clock K widget. You can adjust the size and font of everything, but that's the basics of the digital K widget. Now we can start our analog clock as well. So we'll add a new widget again, do the two by two, drag and drop. And let's go to it and we're gonna make a new one so first let's add a circle to be our outline of our clock so shape circle click on the shape change it to circle and make it a bit bigger and we'll go to paint fill stroke and we'll make, change the width as well stroke, stroke width so there you go that looks good now we're going to add in clock hands. So for that, you need to follow along very closely. So we'll add a new overlap group. Now this we'll call it the hour hand. So let's change it to hour so we don't get confused. Looking good. Now we're going to go to the hour hand and we're going to add in a shape. Okay, add a shape and we're going to make this a rectangle just like an hour hand would be and we're going to adjust the height to be as so and we'll make the width a bit smaller like that and then we'll change the position of this rectangle. Uh, we'll make the bottom pad padding a bit higher like that. So that looks good to me. Um, and since it's the hour hand, we'll make it a bit smaller. So let's change the height a bit and change the position again. Making the center of the circle. That looks good. So as you can see, half of the hand is on top and half of it's on the bottom. Now we're gonna go to layer of our overlap group and put rotation on clock hour hand smooth or exact i'll make it smooth and there you have it the time is currently 639 and the hour hand is showing 639 approximately so we're gonna go back we're gonna copy the hour hand copy and we're gonna paste it we'll rename this to minute hand minute and we'll go in here make our layer rotation to be 
clock minute hand exact. And as you can see, it's 6.39 p.m. And that shows 6.39. So let's also make our size of our rectangle a bit bigger to distinguish um, the clock ends. So we'll make our height bigger. And we'll change the position a bit. Nope, a bit too big. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Let me just try and fix this up real quick. Should be just a second. And we'll adjust the size a bit. And there you go. And then we'll click save. And when we go back, there you have it. Analog and a digital clock. We'll make it a bit bigger. And... There you are. So as I mentioned earlier, these are the basics and you guys can definitely feel free to add on to it and make it your own. I really hope you guys are enjoying the video quality so far. I'm trying to make it the best I can. And uh, if you like it, then just leave a like below and a comment and I'll get back to you.